Finish her! Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. Max Payne 2 is one of my all-time favorite games. Originally released October 14th, 2003, which makes today its 20th anniversary. Birthdays are like regrets. They just keep coming. In the darkness of New York City, a lone figure fights through rain-soaked streets. His name is Max Payne, an NYPD detective haunted by the events of Max Payne 1. Max Payne 2 won many industry awards including outstanding art direction, sound design, and editor's choice from almost every major gaming publication of the era. Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. For me, this is the best game in the trilogy. Max Payne 2 has greatly improved graphics, level design, and a smoother combat system than its predecessor. This is a highly refined and polished continuation of Max Payne 1. Max Payne 2 is a must play for anyone who has never played it, and it's a must replay if it's been a while since your last playthrough. Once again, the story is set against the backdrop of a corrupt and decaying New York City. Max is a man whose life has been shattered by the brutal murder of his wife and child. Taking place two years after the events of the first game, we find that Max was acquitted of charges against him for his actions and reinstated as a detective in the NYPD. I was mad at myself. As you would expect, it is a dark and twisted tale, much like the first, with the common theme of loss, love, revenge, and redemption being the motivation behind Max's choices throughout the game. One night, Max is called to investigate the murder of Senator Sebastian Gate. The only witness to the crime is Mona Sachs. Mona is a contract killer that we thought to be dead. I'm at the wrong end. Mona is arrested for the murder, but Max is convinced that she is not guilty and later helps her to escape Max, jail. You've got to get me out of here. As Max and Mona delve deeper into the mystery, they uncover a web of corruption and deceit from the seedy underworld of New York to the gleaming halls of corporate boardrooms. They also discover that the cleaners are but a small part of a much more sinister organization known as the Inner Circle. The Inner Circle is a cabal of powerful individuals who are manipulating the events of the city with a global agenda. As Max and Mona fight their way through New York, they must confront not only their enemy, but their own demons and come to terms with their past. That won't help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. They must also learn to trust each other, as their only option is to work together if they want a chance of taking down Damn the it. Inner Circle. Damn it. Here, let me. This way. One of the game's best features is that at several points in the game you get to play as Mona. On one level in particular, you play the same timeline from both Max and Mona's perspective. Ready, get set, go. In the end, Max and Mona succeed at defeating the Inner Circle and exposing their crimes to the world. That was... <coughs> but the victory comes at a high cost. Max, dearest of all my friends. I was supposed to be the hero. Max is once again forced to confront the darkness inside himself. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. <laughs> Will Mona survive? Max. Or will the bullet lodged in Mona's head that was intended to kill her for refusing to take out Max put an early end to another woman that Max loves? You have to play to find out, or Google it, but I highly recommend you play and experience this story firsthand. Max Payne 2 is a cautionary tale about the dangers of revenge and the corrupting influence of power. The story of a man who has lost everything but still finds the strength to fight for what he believes in. It is a game with a strong cult following and has resonated with gamers for 20 years and continues to be one of the most critically acclaimed video games of all time for a reason. She's one of them. The game's story can be seen as a metaphor for a descent into madness. She's here to kill me. Once again, we can watch episodes of Address Unknown in the in-game TVs, 
which eerily mimic the events you are experiencing. Max. Sorry I woke you. Max's world is a dark and unforgiving place where the line between good and evil are often blurred. It's a secret. You must tell no one. As he sinks deeper into the abyss, he must face and overcome his own inner demons in order to survive. Mirrors are more than that television. She has died her hair. This is a fairly short game that can be completed in under 15 hours and has an alternate ending for finishing it on Dead on Arrival difficulty. I'm Undead Aaron. Thanks for watching. Night. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah, I get it.